Why is gold a simple shiny metal so valuable? Ever pondered this golden question? Gold's allure is not just about its shimmering appeal, but its significant role throughout human history. It's not just the sparkle of gold that draws us in, but its inherent worth. Gold permeates our daily lives, often without us realizing it. Its allure and timeless elegance make it a popular choice for jewelry, adding a touch of opulence to our everyday appearances. But beyond the glimmer and glamour, gold serves practical uses that are integral to modern living. In the realm of electronics, gold's superior conductivity and resistance to corrosion make it an invaluable component. From the smartphone you're likely holding right now, to the computer you work on, to the satellite orbiting Earth that enables global communication, all these devices contain a small but crucial amount of gold. This precious metal ensures that our digital world keeps turning smoothly, a testament to gold's versatility. Yet, gold's influence extends even further into a domain that impacts us all, the financial sector. Ever wondered why central banks and governments hoard vast reserves of gold? Gold serves as a hedge against inflation and currency depreciation. Its inherent value provides a safety net in times of economic uncertainty, offering a sense of security that few other assets can match. Gold has been a measure of wealth for thousands of years, transcending cultures and civilizations. Its universal appeal stems not only from its physical properties, but also its symbolic significance. Gold represents purity, prosperity, and permanence, values that resonate deeply with human aspirations. Now, think about the last time you admired a piece of gold jewelry, used an electronic device, or even exchanged money. All these activities are subtly intertwined with the story of gold, a story that spans millennia and continues to be written today. So, the next time you see something gold, remember its multifaceted role in our lives. From your favorite necklace to the microchips in your gadgets, from the coins in your pocket to the reserves in a bank vault, gold is everywhere, quietly shaping our world in ways we often overlook. Gold, once seen, cannot be unseen in our everyday existence. Gold has been the backbone of economies for centuries. Its lustrous allure has captivated humans since the dawn of civilization, not merely for its radiant beauty, but for its intrinsic value. From the ancient Egyptians to the modern Federal Reserve, gold has been synonymous with wealth and prosperity. It's been used as currency, a standard for trade and exchange, and a safeguard against economic instability. In the days of yore, people used gold coins as a medium of exchange. The weight and purity of these coins determine their value. Fast forward to the 21st century, we no longer carry around gold coins in our pockets. However, the concept remains the same. Gold now plays a critical role in our global economy. It underpins the financial systems of many countries, anchoring them in something tangible and universally valued. It's not just a shiny metal. It's a symbol of stability and trust. The value of a nation's currency is often linked to its gold reserves. Governments and central banks hold vast amounts of gold in their vaults. Why do they do this? Well, in times of economic uncertainty, gold serves as a safety net. It's a store of value that doesn't depreciate over time, unlike paper money or digital credits. Furthermore, gold is a hedge against inflation. When the cost of living goes up, so does the price of gold. This makes it a reliable investment, a kind of financial insurance policy. But gold isn't just used in the financial sector. It's also traded on commodity markets, used in jewelry and even in technology. Its conductivity makes it ideal for use in electronics, and its resistance to tarnish makes it perfect for ornamental use. In summary, gold's value goes beyond its shiny exterior. It's a vital cog in the machinery of our global economy, a symbol of stability and a safeguard against economic turbulence. Gold's enduring value makes it a reliable and trusted form of wealth. Gold in its pure form is soft, but alloy it with other metals and you get durable, beautiful 14K gold. Let's dive into the fascinating process of making 14K gold. 
It begins with pure gold, a metal known for its lustrous yellow color and exceptional resistance to tarnish. But as stunning as pure gold may be, it is too soft for many practical uses. This is where the art of alloying comes in. Alloying is the process of combining two or more metals to create a new material with improved properties. In the case of 14K gold, which is 58.3% pure gold, the remaining 41.7% consists of other metals such as copper, zinc, silver, or nickel. The first step in creating 14K gold is to melt down the pure gold. This is done in a furnace, heated to a temperature of over 1000 degrees Celsius, turning the gold into a molten state. Next, the chosen alloy metals are added. The specific combination and quantities of these metals determine the final color and properties of the 14K gold. For example, adding more copper results in a reddish hue, creating what we know as rose gold. Alternatively, adding more silver or zinc results in a lighter yellow gold. Once the alloy metals are added, the mixture is stirred thoroughly to ensure a uniform blend. This blend then undergoes a cooling process where it solidifies into a single piece of 14K gold. This gold can then be shaped into jewelry, coins, or any other form desired. Now you might be wondering, why 14K gold? Why not 18K or 22K? Well, the answer lies in the balance of durability and value. Pure gold, while valuable, is too soft for everyday wear. On the other hand, gold with a higher alloy content may be more durable but also less valuable because it contains less gold. 14K gold strikes the perfect balance, offering durability for everyday wear while maintaining a high intrinsic value. It's also worth noting that 14K gold is hypoallergenic making it a great choice for those with sensitive skin. This is because the alloy metals used in 14K gold, particularly copper, silver and zinc, are less likely to cause an allergic reaction compared to other metals like nickel. So the next time you admire a piece of 14K gold jewelry, remember the intricate process behind its creation. It's not just a piece of metal, but a testament to the delicate balance of science and art. From the careful selection of alloy metals to the precise heating and cooling processes, the creation of 14K gold is a testament to human ingenuity and craftsmanship. The creation of 14K gold is a delicate balance of science and art. Despite its ubiquity, the process of creating 14K gold remains a mystery to many. This isn't due to a lack of curiosity, but more because of the intricate and complex procedures involved in its creation. Gold, in its pure form, is a soft metal, too soft for everyday wear. To increase its durability, it is combined with other metals to form an alloy, resulting in the 14K gold we know. The exact process of creating 14K gold is often kept under wraps tucked away behind the doors of goldsmith workshops and high-security factories. It's a delicate dance of chemistry and metallurgy, a blend of art and science. This is not just about melting and mixing metals. It involves precise measurements, careful temperature control, and a deep understanding of how different metals interact. These processes are not only time-consuming, but also require specialized equipment and a high level of expertise. This is why you won't find the average Joe crafting 14K gold in his backyard. It's a task best left to the professionals. Moreover, the exact composition of the alloy can vary, with different blends creating subtle variations in color and durability. This adds another layer of complexity to the process and another reason why the creation of 14K gold isn't common knowledge. It's also important to remember that the world of gold is steeped in tradition. Knowledge is often passed down through generations, kept within families or tightly knit communities of craftsmen. Trade secrets are closely guarded, contributing to the air of mystery that surrounds the creation of 14K gold. In a world where information is often just a click away, the process of creating 14K gold remains elusive shrouded in secrecy and complexity. But perhaps it's this very mystery that adds to the allure of gold.
It's not just a precious metal, it's a testament to the skill and expertise of those who work with it. The mystery of gold only adds to its allure. Gold isn't just constant, it's consistently growing in value. A fascinating aspect of this precious metal, isn't it? Let's delve into why this is so. In essence, the value of gold is all about demand and supply. As the demand for gold increases, so does its value. On the other hand, if the supply of gold increases faster than its demand, its value could decrease. But that's not usually the case. Gold is a finite resource, and the rate at which we can mine it is limited. This naturally makes it a scarce commodity, pushing its value up. Inflation also plays a significant role in gold's ever-increasing value. When inflation is high, the value of money decreases, but the value of gold often increases. This is because, during inflationary periods, people tend to move their money into hard assets that maintain value, even in the face of rising prices. And gold is one of those assets. It's seen as a stable store of value that can weather economic storms. Moreover, gold has a unique and intrinsic value. Unlike paper currency or other assets, gold doesn't rely on external factors for its value. It's not underwritten by any government, and its worth doesn't depend on a country's economic health. This gives gold an inherent stability that contributes to its increasing value. But it's not just about economics. Gold's cultural importance worldwide also plays a part in its ever-rising value. From weddings in India to New Year celebrations in China, gold holds a significant cultural and emotional value for many people. This emotional connection, coupled with its economic benefits, ensures a consistent demand for this precious metal. One might wonder, if gold is so valuable, why doesn't everyone invest in it? Well, the truth is, investing in gold can be complex. It's not as straightforward as investing in stocks or bonds. There are storage costs, insurance, and even the risk of theft to consider. But for those who navigate these challenges, the rewards can be golden. Additionally, gold's value increases over time because it's more than just a commodity or an investment. It's a universal symbol of wealth and prosperity. It's a tangible asset that you can hold in your hand. And that tangibility provides a sense of security and peace of mind that paper money or digital numbers on a screen just can't match. So, you see, while gold may not glitter for everyone, for many, it's more than just a shiny object. It's a symbol of stability in an ever-changing world, a hedge against inflation, and a precious asset that has stood the test of time. As we wrap up our golden journey today, remember this. Gold's value isn't just in its shine, but in its steadfast growth. Gold's allure lies not only in its luster, but also in its enduring value. It's not just a metal, it's a testament to the enduring power of wealth and the unyielding strength of value. Our journey into the world of gold has been enlightening, wouldn't you agree? It's been a captivating voyage, one that has led us to appreciate the sheer brilliance of this lustrous metal. Let's take a moment to reflect on the nuggets of wisdom we've unearthed. We started by acknowledging the omnipresence of gold in our daily lives. From the jewelry that adorns us, to the electronics that facilitate our modern existence, gold's versatility is truly remarkable. It's not just an element of vanity, but a vital component of progress. We then moved on to understand how gold has served as a universal currency and a means of exchange. Its intrinsic value, scarcity, and indestructibility have made it a reliable and trustworthy standard for trade. It's interesting how, even in the digital age, gold continues to back the financial systems of countries around the world. We delve deeper into the fascinating process of creating 14-karat gold, an alloy that combines the purity of gold with the durability of other metals. It's a delicate balance, bringing together about 58.3% gold with a mix of copper, nickel, and zinc. This amalgamation results in a more robust and wearable gold that retains its inherent allure. And who could forget our exploration of the lesser-known aspects of gold? It's surprising how much we didn't know about something so common, yet so extraordinary. It's a reminder that there's always more to learn, more to discover. Perhaps the most compelling revelation was the ever-increasing value of gold, 
Despite the fluctuations of the market, the ups and downs of economies, gold has maintained a steady climb. It's a testament to its enduring appeal and lasting worth. As we bid adieu to this golden journey, let's pause to admire the resilience and richness of this precious metal. It's not just a symbol of wealth or a means of adornment. It's a testament to human ingenuity and a beacon of economic stability. Gold in all its forms, whether as a solid nugget or a 14-carat alloy, is a testament to human craftsmanship and the pursuit of beauty. It reflects our history, our culture, and our progress. It's a reminder of our capacity to create and to value. So, as we say goodbye, let's carry with us the lessons this golden journey has taught us. Let's remember the value of knowledge, the importance of curiosity, and the joy of discovery. If you've enjoyed this golden journey, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more enlightening content. Remember, knowledge is the real gold.